time has finally come for one John Fox who is now officially on his way out of Chicago. What is going on y'all? Fox Sports Talk back at it with another video talking some NFL as the Bears have finally announced that they have fired head coach John Fox. And seriously, folks, I don't like calling for anybody's job. I really don't, okay? But sports is just a little bit different because you're paid a ridiculous amount of money. And so I think John Fox will be fine. Whether or not he's going to find another head coaching job, I'm not sure. I doubt it. I don't think his coaching style is very uh, relevant to today's NFL gameplay. But I could be wrong. Like I said, I don't think he will, but let's see. He will be fine, okay, is the moral of the story. So let's move forward and look ahead to the Bears coaching search and coaching position that is now vacant. And this is going to be a very important hire, especially for Ryan Pace, because if he messes this up, I know he did well uh, building our roster. And a lot of people have, you know, had a lot of hate towards Ryan Pace. He's done a decent job of building this Bears roster, folks. It's got talent, okay? And it's a lot better than it was before he came here, okay? And now he, I think, for sure has found the quarterback of the future in Mitch Trubisky. A lot of people still say the verdict is out. The jury is still out, excuse me. But we will see. This head coaching position will determine if he gets to keep a damn job because usually you don't get to make your second head coaching hire as a general manager. Usually teams clean house. And so Ryan Pace has the backing of the Bears organization. But if he messes this up, he might not anymore. So let's look forward to the Bears coaching candidates and who they should be targeting for this next head coaching position. So if you guys are on Twitter and you do follow all of these sports reporters like Ian Rappaport, Adam Schefter, and whatnot, etc. By the way, follow me on Twitter, by the way, link down below for that. But if you guys follow all these guys, you should know that the names of these coaching candidates that have been circling in uh, the Bears rumors for the next coach. Um, and so they've been pretty, pretty much prevalent. A couple of new names have come up. Uh, a couple of guys have been linked to the Bears for a while. Um, the guys that I'm hearing um, as recent as of today, um, and these are the most recent names, you've got Patriots offensive coordinator Josh McDaniels, okay? You've got Eagles QB coach John DeFilippo. Um, you've got Vikings offensive coordinator Pat Shermer. Then you've got guys like Matt Patricia. You've got guys like Dave Tobe, Matt Nagy. So uh, these are really sort of the most prevalent names being linked to the Bears. Now, before I dive into which candidates I like, I just want to say this is the criteria that I want for the next Bears head coach. Offensive-minded, offensive-minded, offensive-minded. Do you see a pattern, folks? Here's my thing. I don't want to be like, okay, forget the damn defense, okay? It's not that. It's, for me, being a Bears fan, you guys know John Fox, Lovey Smith, the whole bear down tradition of of being a defensive minded football team. It's always been there and I have always craved for an offensive juggernaut of a team. And man, watching the damn Rams this past season when they hired Sean McVay just makes me want somebody like Sean McVay so bad and it should make Ryan Pace want somebody like Sean McVay so bad because a guy like that might be out there folks and you need to find him okay he did wonders with Kirk Cousins and he turned Jared Goff who looked like a bust okay under uh, Jeff Fisher and I know that is Jeff Fisher he makes a lot of quarterbacks look bad but damn he made Sean McVay making Jared Goff look like a pro bowler, okay? So that is what I want. I want Mitch Trubisky to be 2018's Jared Goff, okay? And people aren't saying Mitch Trubisky's a bust or anything like that, but I want him to make that leap that Jared Goff was able to make under Sean McVay, folks. And the Rams have, I think they're one of the top teams in the NFC easily. And, I, and short, quick preview, I haven't put out my predictions yet, but I like the Rams a lot. And why do I like them? Because of their offense. Okay, folks? Like I said, this is a quarterback-driven league. I want an offensive-minded head coach. Now, you guys could be like fives. What about Mark Tressman? The mess that we had with Mark Tressman, who was an offensive-minded coach. Mark Tressman was a good exes in those guys, folks. A lot of people have a lot of bad things to say about Tressman. The problem with Mark Tressman was he just could not control a damn football team. He had no backbone, spine, and guys did not respect him. And that is the reason that they hired John Fox is because John Fox 
Say what you want about him. He still gets guys to play hard for him. He's not good X's and O's wise, but he's good at being like, you know, the rah-rah type of guy and getting guys to play hard under him. And so that is what Mark Trespin lacked. Okay, I want both. I want a guy who's good X's and O's and he, his team plays hard for him. Now, of course, that's asking a lot, but you know what? We want a lot, okay? And this is a prime head coaching position. I'm telling you, folks, there's a lot of jobs out there that are not as good as the Bears' job. You've got a promising quarterback in Mitch Trubisky. Um, you've got a pretty good defense uh, who's pl always plays uh, above what they should be. Uh, you have a star running back in Jordan Howard. Uh, the, the linebackers, like I said, pretty good on this team. D-line is pretty good. Um, obviously, we're going to draft receiver, tight ends. Adam Shaheen, he's he's decent. So there are pieces on this roster to build, especially at quarterback. Okay, so this is a prime head coaching position. And so I think we can lure in a very prime candidate. Okay, so what I would tell Ryan Pace is, like I said, to look at an offensive minded coach. I don't want to go through, you know, I don't want to have a defensive minded coach and then have a different offensive coordinator for Mitch Trubisky year after year after year. It just gets tiring, folks. So, okay, so let's move on with these damn candidates and let's see what we like here. Of course, let's start with Josh McDaniels, number one. I like Josh McDaniels. I really do. I think he would be a good hire. The problem I see with the Bears organization is they might not like the fact that he likes a lot of power, okay? And so the Bears' ownership and especially Ryan Pace himself might not want to give uh, Josh McDaniels that much power, but believe it or not, he might be worth it. Great X's in those guys. I would be happy with Josh McDaniels. John D. Filippo, the next guy on this list, Eagles quarterback coach. He's worked wonders with Carson Wentz. You see the pattern here. Worked wonders with Kirk Cousins. So I would like John D. Filippo as well, okay? You can work wonders with Mitch Trubisky again. Mitch Trubisky is the damn franchise quarterback. You need a head coach that is going to help him progress, okay? So I wouldn't mind him either. Vikings offense coordinator Pat Shermer. Man, he's done a good job with that team. God damn. People thought when uh, Sam Bradford got hurt, they were done. Case Keenum's new quarterback, including myself. And Case Keenum's played really well, okay? So um, I wouldn't mind him either. Matt Patricia, Dave Tobe, all these other guys. Um, I mean... Like I said, I'm trying to stay away from the defense coordinators. Matt Patricia might be a good hire just because he comes from the Patriots and that's a winning organization. But my top two candidates would be John D. Filippo and Josh McDaniels. Um, either or, I would be fine with. But like I said, Ryan Pace needs to make an offensive-minded hire. That is the biggest need for this team. And I am telling you, it will be better for this Bears team because moving forward, Mitch Trubisky will take this Bears team as far as he can. And the coach that we have in place will need to support Mitch Trubisky in that path. Okay, folks, so let's see what happens. Ryan Pace, you have a big job ahead of you. Let's see what you guys, let's see what he does. And let me know what you guys think the Bears should go after Drop a name down below in the comment section on who you guys think the Bears should hire. I'm okay with McDaniels or John D. Filippo. Honestly, sometimes you have a new guy that emerges out of nowhere. Like I said, a coordinator nobody's ever heard of or a brand new hire. Uh, I wouldn't mind that either. I'm not a fan of the retreads. You know, the same guys that keep circling in NFL circles for year after year after year. And I want a fresh face, sort of. Nobody heard of Sean McVay before uh, he got the Rams job, or at least people outside of the Washington Redskins organization didn't. And so I kind of want someone like that if we don't get these big names like a Josh McDaniels or a, uh, I mean, John DeFilippo's not a big name, but you get my point. If we don't get a big name, I'm okay with hiring a no-name guy just as long as we know or Ryan Pace thinks he's got that potential, okay? Listen, folks. The goal here is the next Sean McVay because I want Mitch Trubisky to be the next Jared Goff in terms of making that leap, okay? So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Follow me on Twitter. Let's talk Bears down below for that. Follow me on Instagram as well. Uh, keep it locked right in here. Turn on your post notifications, folks, because I'm telling you, I'm bringing a lot of content out in 2018, folks. This is going to be a good year. Let's get into it. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe, and always, thanks for watching.